Right, hi everyone and welcome back to the Mod Spotlight. Today we're going to be looking at this Fent Vario 724 and you may be able to see the suspension working just like the 1050 that we looked at. So it's actually a very similar tractor, very well done, but I warn you now there are a few little problems with the interactive control. Other than that, it's fully working and a very nice tractor to drive. So we'll park up in a second and I'll show you all of the features which it's got. In some ways it's got more features than the 1050, it's just they're a little glitchier than the 1050. Right, so this tractor will set you back £174,000. I'm not sure exactly of the horsepower, the author has not given that in the mod description. However, it is quite a big tractor, short bonnet, but it is a 724, so I'm guessing that is sort of mid to high range in horsepower. So not a bad tractor, quite capable of doing quite a lot of heavy jobs. So what I'm going to do is show you around the tractor and show you all of the interactive controls, the working ones and the ones which do need to be fixed. So we will of course start from in the cab and really I should have followed this up already but that button there pushes the steering wheel away from you so you can leave and enter the cab easily without getting the steering wheel getting in the way. That will push it away from you even more and vice versa. You bring it closer to you when you want to drive. So nice feature. I do like that quite a lot. Now these two obviously are the indicators however I have not yet managed to get them working. I don't know why they don't work these two here. Um, really not sure. There are also all the little ones here. Now I think one of these does work and that is the actual main headlights. You can see that one has worked just there. So that is good. Um, but these three, four, this four here, do not work. Not sure why, really don't know. Um, but they are, I think, the only buttons on the tractor which do not work. They should do the hazards, they should do the front work lights, they should do the beacons and the rear work lights. You can still turn them on on the keypad, so you can still turn all of those lights on um, if you want to. That has not ruled that out. Um, so we will move on to the ones that do work. And over here we have got the front and rear linkage controls. That one there does the front linkage and that one does the rear linkage. And I'll show you that in a minute or two. This one here will toggle four wheel drive so you can swap it between two and four wheel drive. It's very useful if you're in a sticky situation. And this one will put the PTO on. So both very useful. Moving around the back, there is this one here which is actually for double wheels. I haven't worked out how to do double wheels. There is no sort of button for it as such I don't think and I've tried the usual M and N and they haven't done anything um, so I don't know if they're just sort of there for if you've got a big wide implement they would still be useful for that I suppose so they are there if you want them as usual we have the door which you can open and this is nice this is the passenger seat that folds out so you can then carry a passenger so that is all very well done and up here you've got the sun blind very nice in-cab feature. So enough of playing with the in-cab entertainment, we'll move outside the tractor. This one here is for the rear window. You can't actually see that button from the inside, so you actually have to come out of the tractor to be able to turn that on, but you can open and close it from just here. You'll also see two either side of the tractor. This is obviously for the rear hitch. The same buttons do the same thing. They're both higher and lower the hitch. So you can realistically lower it, back up to an implement, attach it, and then hire it. So that is very nice. Lots of nice little features on this tractor. We'll now move around to the front, and you've got your front hitch control. That one folds up entirely, and the other one unfolds it. And I like this one a lot. This is for the bonnet, and this actually lifts the bonnet up, and you can see the detail within. Very nice. Not the highest detail ever on the engine, but it is still very good can still distinguish a lot of the different parts in there. And finally, the beacons, you can actually fold in for when working in tighter areas or in real life if you're doing something like hedge cutting or mowing around the side of a field where you're going to hit trees, you can fold them down, peace of mind that you're not going to knock them off. So very nice, really like that, and overall, 
I do like this tractor a lot. So we will just lower the bonnet so we can see what we're doing. We'll jump back in the cab, we'll close the door and we'll take you for a little spin and I'll show you exactly what it's like. So you can see the RPM and the speed on the dashboard. The speed is in kilometers per hour even if you've got your game set to miles per hour but it's good that it's still got that there. It's got good responsive handling. If you go too quick around the corner it can be a bit light though. It's got very good brakes as you'll see there. Very good indeed. And it's got quite a good top speed. 32 miles per hour. So 50k gearbox. So it's a very nice tractor to drive. Very well modelled. Suspension. I really like it. But as I say, it does need a little bit more work just to sort of fix the interactive controls which don't work and anything else which I haven't pointed out which there may be. And the final thing I'll just show you in a second is when you reverse it has actually got a reversing tone. You might just about hear that there. So it is a very good tractor. I really like it. I don't know, the mirrors actually, there's something to point out, you can see that they're not actually working. So in a future update of this mod it would be fantastic if all of the things which I pointed out were fixed and also if it could be improved on, such as putting mirrors in, maybe a working screen there, and possibly even some more interactive controls, but they're actually pretty good anyway with the sun blind and everything I do really like this tractor so there we have it the Fent 724 Vario tractor and hopefully you've enjoyed the video maybe you found it useful the credits and download link are below as usual and you can join me again this time next week for more Mod Spotlight and admittedly uh, this video only just managed to go out because I'm sort of in the transition phase of going between my two graphics cards and it turned out that despite me checking the specs of my new one my PSU is not actually powerful enough which is really annoying so I've just spent another £60 on a brand new PSU just upgraded it from 500 watts to 750 Corsair so I'm really hoping that is going to do the job this of course means a bit of uncertainty about tomorrow's video I don't know if there's going to be one if there's not, I'll keep you posted. If there is, of course, it'll be released, hopefully, at the usual time. But in the time which my graphics card was installed, when it wasn't sort of kicking up issues due to not enough power, it was actually really good. And I was maxing out my frames per second during recording using Fraps, which is what I record with, at 60 frames per second. So I'm really impressed with that. And the graphics card itself is very good, and it should be a very good investment. I will be releasing a video of me installing that graphics card when I hit 10,000 subscribers. You may have watched my other video previously a few days ago when I mentioned that I was going to do that but I have recorded it today and the actual fitting process went really well and I'm really impressed with it. I have temporarily though had to put my old one back in just to record this video. So hopefully next week my new PSU will arrive. I'll do a fitting video for that as well and everything should be really smooth for the next video probably on Tuesday. So there we go, little update for you. Thanks for watching everyone and of course thank you for all the support you've all given me in the past. I have just hit 8,000 subscribers which I am thoroughly pleased with and it's all down to you. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.